Welcome back to channel. Now we are going to discuss about data types in Python. Please subscribe my channel to get a new video alert. <coughs> in a Python, we have uh, these kinds of data types. Basically, data types are used to specify the type of data a variable can hold. Python is a dynamically typed language, so uh, if you are not using int or float or string, it automatically assign uh, it automatically assign dynamically uh, data types to your variable. So we have these kinds of data type: numeric data type, sequence data type, and uh, mapping data type. Set data type, Boolean data type, and non data type. Let's start with the numeric data type. So, numeric data type is basically suppose say uh, you have uh, uh, you have suppose say A is. So, in A is you have suppose say two uh, variable like A is and weight. In A is uh, generally we do not require decimal point like a number of a state number of the state in any country. So this is not in a fraction. This cannot be in a fraction at all. So for this, this never be a fraction. So uh, what we need to do, we need a whole number. That is one, two, or three, or, or five, something like that. We need to store integer part only. So in that case, we use int. And if uh, in a rate it may be a hundred point seventy five dollar, so uh, it's have an integer as well as decimal, the whole number as well as decimal number. So in this case, we use float. Now we have a sequence that is a string. A string uh, is holding a combination of a character. And the list we are going to discuss about this tuple and we have a mapping uh, type that is a dictionary type uh, that have a key and value. This is a key, this is a key and this is a value. So key value pair. In a set type, set also uh, is look like a list or anything but uh, in a set, duplicates not allowed, not allowed. So duplicates are not allowed. Boolean type, it can hold true or false. N none type, it can have hold a none type, none. So uh, let's uh, see over here, number integer is holding 42. Num float, float type, we can declare like that, 3.14. Uh, text, the string type, we can hold like this. List, we can uh, declare like this. Tuple, we can declare like this. Uh, dictionary as well, and set, union, and none. Now, uh, for a practical purpose, let's move to uh, this Google Colab. So, uh, Google Colab is nothing. Let's go to the slide again. So uh, to start a Google Colab, we need to copy this. We need to copy this. Uh, HTTP, this one, Google Research Colab. Or you can type Colab on a... You can type Colab over here. You can type Colab and hit enter. Click on this first one. So you will uh, redirect it to your Google Colab or, or the next option is directly pay, copy uh, this colab.research.google.com type this and come here. So uh, now when you start it will show uh, like this and then you can click on this new, this new, on new. So it will start your Google Colab where you can uh, write your code, Python code and execute. 
so this is command this is this is basically this this area is command window area over here you can type your command when you how you create this and how you save this collab notebook so basically when you uh, want to change or save type your name here first notebook first or data type can have said data type hit enter you can go and save file save or press control and s now let's move to the practically let's uh, let's have uh, this numeric type first so uh, copy this code let's come here and paste this <laughs> as number so this has is basically uh, to use a comment allocating memory connecting so this one so this should be connected at every time currently it's initializing save build uh, uh, comment and uh, yeah to initialize numeric variable, we have a is equal to 25, like a is equal to 25. Uh, we have rate, we can say 4.5. If you press shift and enter, it will execute your report. Uh, so now uh, we have a string type. We can copy this multiple string. We have here is some issues. I think saving fail. So let's reload this. Let's have. Uh, is Let's copy the entire thing and let's go to the notepad. And let's, let's let me copy the entire code and then we can have this. And Let's copy this machine console. So let's copy this. And I'm not bad. We can type over here also for time saving purpose of copying my code existing code to notepad and then I will copy it to the core lab. One by one I will let you know about the operation about the path code which we did here. Let's have this another.
Now we have this, this is just declaring a variable, this is integer type and this is float type. So now we can move to the next, that is a string and uh, the string and this. So uh, we are declaring a name, this one, John Dave and message welcome to Python. When you need to write in a multiple line, you can write like this. This is a multiple line string. It will come in a multiple line by using three uh, single and double quotes. And uh, uh, how to concatenate a string? Like uh, you have a name and this. If you execute this only in that cell, what you will see. There is some problem with the collab today. Uh, it's not replacing. It will turn on. Yeah, so uh, what we need uh, to do, uh, here we have a greeting variable which is holding a hello plus name. Uh, you can say this into a print method by uh, doing a print greeting. Greeting, if you use this, you can see the greeting will be printed hello and so on. Because hello and then is concatenated. Now uh, by using f. Uh, this is a string interpolation using f string. So this name instead of name variable. Now here it will insert uh, whatever the value of name and then whatever the value of is. If you say print and uh, this variable, then it will print your variable. So let's print this. Shift and enter will be executed. Press shift and enter or click on this uh, round button. So, hello, John, you are 30 years old. By uh, using this, this one is all in. Now, uppercase name, lowercase name. So, these are the string method. We have a lot of string method. We will discuss some more in a concern chapter. So, if you uh, use a print, it will convert your uh, string into uppercase. So, it will convert your string into uppercase, no, lowercase, it will convert into lowercase. To get a length of uh, your string, you can have a print and the variable or you can use directly uh, right side thing in a print method also. So, 8 character long, you have like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like this. And uh, the next are uh, list type. So, let's copy this list entire method till here. Let's save this. Let's go and uh, insert this. Now let's execute this command again. Now we have a uh, uh, number, list number. Here uh, you need to uh, know the indexing. Here you need to know the indexing the in a list and all those, the index are very crucial. So basically over here we have like integer 1, 2, 3, Four, five, and six. So number of uh, number of length uh, that this length is three and three. 
equal to six. Length is six. But the indexing indexing start with the zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So if you say this uh, list method over here, like if if you say a number number zero, that is this means this means one. This means this one. If you say fruit, fruits one, it will display what? This is zero, this is one, this is two. So the banana will be over here. So make sure you're indexing. Indexing, understand the indexing. It's a start with the zero and it is very uh, much using, uh, we are using very much uh, indexing. So, uh, do not confuse with the number and the index. Index start with the zero number as you have whatever. So, now let's go to the uh, this accessing elements. If you say this second, um, uh, first number and second four. Now if you print this, print what? This one, second fruit. So second fruit is holding what? Second fruit is holding fruit one. It should print what? It should print what? Let's guess. It will print banana. Because apple is zero position, banana is on one position. Now slicing. This one is very important to understand. Slicing. So slicing means uh, it is start whatever the number is start. It will include this one. But at the fourth, it not include the fourth position, a fourth index. From one index to till fourth index, four is not included. So it means it will include what? Two, three, and four. So if you say some, if you say some number, if you print this, then what will be the output? The output will be two, three, and four. Now suppose say you want to print banana and orange. What you will do? Print a fruit F R U I T S fruits from banana you want to print and how many three till second you want to uh, uh, banana and orange both you want to print so till three so now you see if you uh, put this as a two then what happens only banana we grapes what is the grapes okay it added over here at the uh, second position, it added grab. So, banana and banana and grab and orange. So, it will start from one, it will start from one, So it will print second and third, grape and orange. Suppose say you need to print banana and grape. Then what you will, you will do? You will have, uh, let's copy this. You want to print after zero to what? Till second L. So it, it is printing from zero apple, apple, remove banana. Banana is not there, that's why we have uh, this last, last index is this. this. Last list is apple, banana, grape and orange. So it is printing what? Apple and grape, apple and grape, zero, two, two, two. Second is at the second index, we have orange, so orange is like this. In this, let's uh, let's have a print statement over here. Let's have a print statement. 
let's have a print statement here at here itself. So this, then let's have a print statement again here. Let's print the entire fruit first. And then here also print the entire fruit. Then here also print the entire fruit. Now run this. Now see, first we have apple, banana, all is printed. If you want slicing, you can use like one single three. If you want to print apple and banana only, then you can have a uh, print, print apple and banana only, then zero to two. So we again do this, then see. Apple and banana only printed over here. Now this insert, the method insert is inserting at the second position grip. Second position previously what? Zeroth position apple, banana is on first and second on F, uh, orange. So on second position it insert grip over here. Now you can remove your uh, this banana from here and it will remove. So see. Now move to the uh, double type. So double. Double is basically it's declared like uh, with the small square brackets. And uh, accessing elements same as we did over here. We can have a slicing also and all those. And then we have uh, next item that is dictionary. So dictionary, uh, let's see dictionary also. So in a dictionary, what we have. So in a dictionary, if you see this is name is coming like name colon ls is, is 30 ct is new uh, new york so name is basically key is is key ct is key and the value is ls 30 and new york so uh, it's a key value parameter so we will discuss more and more in the concern chapter so don't uh, confuse right now you can uh, uh, you can add or modify entries like this. You can use this command. You can uh, I will have a file uh, link in the video. You can go there and download from uh, source, download from external website. So this is then another uh, we have a set. So set is basically. Let's declare with the curly brackets. But one very interesting thing over here, it will be always unique. You cannot have a duplicate number. So if you see unique number, one, two, three, four, five, and if you are adding six to it, it will add six. But now you, if you are adding two, it won't add two again because set not enter duplicate data so in a set you cannot enter duplicate it has a method union it has a method intersection union means what the both common uh, this one two four five all one two three four five it will display entire uh, union of this both of this intersection which is the common one in both set that will be printed so uh, this intersection set will print three and then we have a boolean type boolean type can be used with the conditional operator so uh, we will see this in a practical example also so uh, over here we can have uh, this like uh, is true is equal to true or uh, is false is equal to false we are checking is true is true Yes, because we had set it true, then it is printing, it is true. So its output is, it is true. Now we have another type that is non-type. 
Run type is basically it's holding nothing. And sometimes you want a null uh, or a none. You want to have nothing inside your uh, variable. So in that case, you can have this. So uh, is and a data type over here also you can say if it is I say int, then what happens? Nothing print because it is not integer. It is a non-type. It is a non-type. So you can check a uh, type by using is in if statement also. This variable is empty. Okay. So that much for uh, this session. We end up with the data type. Next session will cover uh, variable as well as operator. So, so thank you and have a nice day. Please subscribe the channel.